Range and deviation, practice problem one. You are on course 55 per standard magnetic compass when you sight Block Island Southeast Point Light in line with Block Island Aero Beacon bearing 319 degrees per standard magnetic compass. Based on this, I'm going to read these answers. Based on this, you should use 4 west deviation on true courses of 40. Know the compass error is 19 west. Know the deviation table is correct for that heading. Should apply 4 west deviation to all bearings. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're we are checking our deviation table. So it gives us two points in line. Right? Block Island, southeast point in line with Block Island Arrow Beacon. And then it gives us a compass bearing. So what we need to do I always just set up this template, T, V, M, D, C. And sometimes it asks about compass error, right? One of these asked about, you know the compass error is 19 west. Well, compass error equals the variation plus the deviation. We know the variation, 15 west. We can fill that in. One other thing we need, it gave us is the heading gave us a heading, which in turn, we can get a deviation for. And this is what we're checking. So you're on course 55 PSC. 55 degrees PSC. The deviation for 55 is about 4 east, right? 60 is 4 east. So 4 east. Now, this is different. We're just going to set that aside and check that with some math that we'd over here. So this bearing is 319 PSC. 319 degrees PSC. Now we need a true bearing to compare these. And it says that we see Block Island Southeast Point Light in line with Block Island Arrow Beacon. So here's the Southeast Point. Here's the light. And here is the arrow beacon. And again, I like to use my dividers. It just, I feel it makes me more accurate. Now we line these up. We know what side of the compass we're reading, right? The side that has 319 on it. So. Three, I'm seeing 308, 308 degrees true. Okay, going down 308 plus 15 west is 318, 323, right? 308. 323, 323. Now to get from 323 degrees magnetic, to get from 323 to 319, what deviation table, what deviation do I need? I need to subtract, so it's gotta be east, and from 23 to 19 is four east. This is what I've calculated. Now look at this, it checks out, check. That checks out. What's our compass error? 15 west. 4 east, and I'm using this calculated compass error here, is equal to 11 west. So now we need to decipher our answers. Should use 4 west deviation on true courses of 40. No, that doesn't make sense. This They're trying to trick you. If you put your heading down here, and work it, you end up with 40 true, but it's not the correct way to do the problem. You know the compass error is 19 west. No. We calculated that it is 11 west. You know the deviation table is correct for that heading. Yes, this is what we got. 4 east here, and we checked it. 4 east here. So C is the correct answer, but I'm going to explain why answer D is incorrect. Should apply 4 west deviation to all bearings. This, don't fall for this. 
you apply deviations to headings, not bearings, right? The heading of your ship is what dictates deviation. And that's why our heading was important in this problem. Okay, so the correct answer is C. You know the deviation table is correct for that heading.